Hey there, welcome to NZ Money Karma, where you can find freedom from the daily grind through simple living, budgeting, and adventure. It's great to be back here again. It's a beautiful sunny day where I'm tuning in from today, which makes such a change. It's been great. We've been out in the garden pulling some weeds and harvesting our onion crop, which has been amazing this year. Onions literally, I think my daughter pulled one out this morning and she said, Mum, it's the size of a baby's head. Along with pulling that out came all the seeds attached to it as well, unfortunately. But there are lots of big ones that we've left in there for seed collection. But yeah, pretty pretty happy with that harvest. Um, once they've dried off, I'll plait them up and maybe um, pop them online so you can see. So today is the beginning of my no spend week. Well, I can't really say no spend because I will spend something. Let's rephrase that. Today is the beginning of my low spend week. So this week I've set the intention that I'm not going to stuff my envelopes. I'm going to use the smallest amount of money that's possible because next week when I stuff, I want to have at least $400 and I want to largely be able to dedicate that to having fun. So putting that in all the fun envelopes. For the last month, I've really concentrated on doing the sensible thing and getting my sinking funds a little bit propped up in a few key areas. April though is all about fun so we have the school holidays here in New Zealand due to start at the end of this week we're heading away for a long weekend throughout it and then at the end of the school holidays we have Anzac day as well so we have lots of um, public holidays lots of time off and a lot of opportunity to do things with our kids while activities are off and that kind of thing so without further ado I'm just going to jump in and grab my money out so I've been to the bank already this morning and I also sold something on Trade Me. So I've got a little bit more than I normally would. I've made another sale on Trade Me, so that is also going to um, that'll show next week because the person hasn't paid yet. So I have to wait for them to pay before I can get the money out of the bank. But I will be putting it in with my cash for fun. So let's see what I've got. 50, 70, 90. 110, 130, 150, 170, 190, 200, 210, 20, 35. Brilliant. Got a little bit of change as well in my envelope, so I'll be using that um, for a little challenge that I've made. So one of the things that I think, I don't know, one of, the, one of the things that I think is that if you can do something yourself, you probably should. So rather than um, buying something, for example, if you can make it or make do, then my ethics say, rather than creating this other whatever, let's use what we have. So with that in mind, I have made another little envelope. I think that goes upside down for you guys. Let's have a look there another little envelope. It's an old colouring in book that I've cut out and I've stuck it onto just a normal envelope. And then I've assigned each piece of fruit or leaf um, a, an amount. And I haven't even added up how much it will all be. I've just chosen really small amounts, $2, $1, um, the odd $5 and one ten. And I'm just going to see how I go with that. I don't have any idea about what I would use this money for. But I've really enjoyed the other challenge that I made. So I'd encourage you, if that's your kind of thing, if you like the gaminess of challenges, maybe look around your house and see what do you have that you could use and maybe make something yourself. So we don't need to buy everything that we need. We can look around and go, okay, I've got paper, I've got an envelope, I can do that. So I'm going to put that to the side. Don't know if I'll have anything in there yet, but I might use it. I might use this change. For that. So let's get cracking. Gifts. I'm starting off with gifts. So that did have a hundred dollars in it. It's actually got 35 in there now. And that's because I've been shopping for gifts. So 20, 35. It's my daughter's birthday coming up. It's Easter as well. So I've taken care of all those things with this with the $65 that I've spent from here and the rest of this will be spent before I see you next because that will also um, be taking care of 
bit of birthday food, that kind of thing. So that's that. So I'm all sorted. And that's the beauty of a sinking fund. It's not to never spend it. It's just to have the money there so that when the time comes to spend it, it's available and you're not sitting there thinking, oh no, where do I get the birthday money from? Because it's already there. Kai. So I normally have $50. I spent $49 because I've got a dollar left over. And I'm not stuffing that at all. I've got enough food in the pantry and the freezer to last us several weeks, I imagine, if we had to. But definitely enough for another week. Um, the special kind of party food will come from this money. Um, when I say party food as well, like I'm not talking about lots of chippies and junk food. It's more like I'm going to make a nicer cake than normal. Um, if I make a savoury dish, it's going to be a nicer dish than normal, that kind of thing. Cause, um, I guess in our family, our ethics help us decide how we're going to spend our money. So I'm not drawn to go to the supermarket and buy all the cheap biscuits off the shelf because they're all filled with palm oil and come wrapped in plastic. So those are two things that go against my ethics. So it's not a choice for me when I walk into Pack and Save and I see whatever biscuits in the aisle of crap that they lead you into Pack and Save with. I don't know what they really call it, but it's filled with junk food as you walk to the fruit and veggie section. I don't have to struggle with myself in that aisle and go, oh, will I buy the cheap hundreds and thousands biscuits? Because my answer is just simply no. I'm not interested in buying them because it doesn't fit with my ethics. And I think that's when you have ethics behind how you spend. It helps make so many decisions a lot easier. So that's food done. You, that's my husband. He's not getting anything. He's got 20. Me, I'm not getting anything. I've only got $8 left in there. And I'm actually going to get rid of the change. And bang it all in there. And the reason I only have $8 is because I was at St. Vinny's in the weekend and they were having a big sale, a two-for-one sale, and I bought myself um, a new pair of jeans, a couple of new tops, some gloves for the kids, and a pair of tracksuit pants for my son. So that took my, what was that? It took my $7. $7 for all those things. And that's my eight left over. Now don't worry, I'm not leaving myself short because next week is all about fun. I will be restuffing this. So I already have a plan for what I'm going to do with that money, so I'm not bothered that I don't have anything in there. Now, kids. Kids still have quite a lot left over. One of their activities was cancelled last week due to sickness. They will need $15 this week for one activity, and then that there is spare. So I'm going to put this back in here for them. So that's this week's activity taken care of. And I will use this $10 to stuff in for their pocket money. So they have $5 each. That's done. Miscellaneous. Miscellaneous. I had to buy some stamps this morning to post some letters. I still am kind of old fashioned in that I really encourage my kids to write letters to their friends who live far away. Um, if someone sends them a gift, like a relative or what have you, I encourage them to write them a letter of thanks rather than send an email or a text message. Because to me, an email or a text message just doesn't seem like enough effort of saying thank you. It just doesn't seem as nice or as from the heart as sitting down to write an actual letter to somebody. And I also know in our family when someone sends us a letter, we love it. We get so excited and it's so nice to open some fun, beautiful mail rather than a bill or the rates. So that was what was left over. I think it was $3 something. $3 something to get two, two stamps in New Zealand. Eek. I can see why people do use an email, but for me, I like the... I like the post. So I'm going to pop that in there and I'm going to add this to my stash. And I'm going to take $50 this week. So this is all my discretionary spending. Anything that happens, I, I just want to have that there in case. So of my $235, I'm going to be taking the $50. 
fun, still has 50. And I'm not opposed to using the money from my sinking funds while I'm doing this challenge. It's just that I'm not stuffing money with the intention to use. And that when I do use it, the intention is to focus on fun rather than just the sensible, boring things. So I've got my challenge here. I'm not going to get that out because I'm not going to stuff anything in it. Animals. Murphy's Law. So I finished this last week. It had 150 in it. This week I've been a little worried about one of our elderly pets. We have a 10-year-old rabbit and he is getting towards the end of his time with us. And I just wanted to go to the vet and have a talk about like his end-of-life care plan for a rabbit. So I wanted to make sure I had some pain medication at home so that if he got sore or distressed for some reason, um, I could give him something at home. I didn't have to be dragging him out in the middle of the night to go and see a vet across the other side of town. So we had a good chat. He had a checkup, and he's fine. So we're kind of treading that fine line between when your pet has a good quality of life versus when it's time to say goodbye. So I spent $100 to get that planned out and sorted so I don't have to worry that he's going to be in pain or distress. So that'll need a bit of restuffing. But there's $50 in here for now. House is getting nothing. I am happy to report though that I have sanded down some windows. So I've done the entire back house is all prepped. So now I've just got the front of the house. So that's exciting. Braces, no change there. Tech, no change. Bikes has 150. My son's bike. See, this is Murphy's Law, isn't it? You just stuff all these envelopes and then things happen to take the money away. My son's bike has got a massive flat tire. It's dead as it, like completely flat as a pancake. So I haven't had a chance yet to investigate and see if it's a repair that I can make or if he's going to need a new tire if it's been kind of slashed or if it's just the inner tube that can have a patch. So that's a job for tomorrow. Um, if he needs a new tire and an inner tube, this will probably be about $50 less. But I'm really grateful that I prioritised this because it means the money's here. So it means I can do challenges like this because I feel prepared. Road trip, nothing to add. Giving, nothing to add. Date night and medical dental, nothing to add. <sighs> so that's that. What have I got left over? Because I've kind of put things in and out, 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, 20, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, so I've got 190, that's pretty cool, 190 there, and what's my change situation, 4, 6, 8, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, $14.20. So I might have a little look at this challenge here and just go, okay, so I've got $14. I'll take my 20 cents back because can't do anything with that and I will pick, I will do it off camera but I will pick $14 worth of these and put the money in there. So have a wonderful Easter weekend and we'll see you next week for stuffing of over $400 into fun. Bye!